Elton the Bully Dari bullied his Jamaican counterpart to capture yet another world title for Guyana. Dari outpointed his opponent for the World Boxing Union Bantamweight title to win by unanimous decision. It all happened last evening at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall and Capital News was on hand to get Dari's reaction. Right, something that I expected. Even everybody expected me to walk this guy over. I know he was an undefeated fighter and any undefeated fighter confident coming into this ring. Especially when his cousin just won the WBA world title in Jamaica. The first Jamaican to do it in, in Guyana. And I'm, from what I'm told, I'm the first guy in East to accomplish a title of this prestigious in this, in this country. Not outside because we have humorous world champion. And I look up to him and I thank him for, for doing what they did. Now it's my time. Jamaican Rudolf Hedge, meanwhile, acknowledged that Dari was a good fighter, but said he had several challenges of his own leading up to the fight. Dari, Dari is a good fighter. You see me? I'm not taking nothing from him. I know him is a good fighter and things like that. He in more competition than me and everything, you know? So, and I know once, once he go the distance, Dari going to have a better chance than me because it's a warm fight, you know? So, overall, he would get the, get the win once I don't knock him out. Guyana Cricket Board's nomination of former West Indies captain Clive Lloyd for the presidency of the West Indies Cricket Board was received by the deadline on Friday, but it failed to get another of the six territories to second the nomination, as is required by the constitution of the West Indies Cricket Board. Lloyd, who along with the Minister of Sport, had recently called the GCB, which nominated him, illegal, had been hoping to get Trinidad and Tobago to second the nomination, but this did not happen. This is the second time the man who has led the West Indies to back-to-back -back World Cup wins in the 1970s has made a bid for the presidency. Lloyd, who has served with distinction on the ICC Cricket Development Committee as chairman and was also a non-voting director on the West Indies Cricket Board, relinquished that post when he was appointed advisor to President Ramataran Cricket. Supercat, as he was known in his glory days, is regarded by many as the best person to lead the West Indies Cricket Board at a time when the body is going through several changes to its structure and struggling to put several contentious disputes with present and former players behind it. In Guyana, Lloyd, in the past year and a half, has been at the helm of the government-appointed Interim Management Committee set up to run the affairs of cricket here after a spectacular fallout by different factions on the Guyana Cricket Board, which reached all the way to the Caribbean Court of Justice. For Capital News, Royal Collins.